Welcome to Travel Lake Superior. Today we are at the Lake Superior Art Gallery with Francis Esquiga from Rocky Bay First Nation. Francis, welcome. Hi. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? First of all, where were you born? I was born in a little community called McDermott. Where's 1955. That? Lake Nipigan. Lake Nipigan. And what's the name of the reserve? Uh, Rocky Bay. And from there you moved to Thunder Bay? At a rather young age I moved here in, when I was like 1967, 68, moved to Thunder Bay. Oh, okay. So you've been here a few years then? Yeah. Okay. Well, in Thunder Bay, did you have an opportunity to take any formal art training? I did a little uh, yearly thing at the uh, Lake of the University with uh, history of Western art and some drawing, some acrylic. Acrylic painting? Acrylic painting. Okay, so that sort of gave you both your traditional and some practical experience in uh, painting. Well, actually, it, it taught me more about the uh, textures of paints and uh, varying colors, uh, how to mix colors, how to, uh, say, uh, mix and match your colors as opposed to my actual uh, actual picture I'm painting. Okay. Because some of the stuff that threw me right off from what I actually started painting when I first started painting, before I took any education. And I had me had a hard time getting back to my own self because it, like still life and uh, stuff like that. But I wasn't too interested in that kind of stuff. Okay. Now uh, today you do a variety of things. Uh, you uh, do uh, some traditional First Nation art on canvas, birch bark, uh, deer uh, deer skin. What type of paintings are these? Uh, I, would, I would call them the traditional, um, surreal, <laughs> uh, so, some of them are uh, just generally what, how I feel about portraying a, a certain animal or, or scene. But, okay, now you also do uh, a lot of contemporary work on watercolors. What are they like? Well, that, that's my pet thing, is watercolor. I uh, just happened to uh, get acquainted with it earlier, before I actually started painting with acrylics. Uh, I used to be heavily on uh, staying within the lines and when I'm coloring and coloring books and that. So that kind of changed my view on what I'm creating. So it's, it was a transition, like I, I, I couldn't believe what was forming in front of me. Okay. And today, uh, that still strikes me as wondrous, like I, I, I feel more at ease painting with uh, watercolors than I do with acrylics. Yeah, I noticed that a lot of uh your watercolors have eagles and wolves in them. Uh, yeah, you, this is just a small sampling of what I have created in the past. These are, uh, you might say, my best sellers okay. uh, that people ask me for. Uh, so I do take commissions. I take uh, like names. People want their native name painted. I'll paint that. Stuff like that. Okay. What is your native name? My native name is uh, Sigasike. What's that mean? It's a it's an old Ojibwe word meaning uh, the light coming from this twinkling of light coming from the rising of the sun. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, what inspired you, inspired you to paint? Inspiration. I don't know if it was inspiration or desperation, <laughs> but uh, what inspired me is uh, uh, getting away from it all, eh? like the world and the pressures and everything like that. I 
I find myself relaxing when I'm sitting down painting. And it's a relaxing thing. Actually, it started out being a hobby for me. In the beginning, uh, I never painted much, but whenever I wanted to relax and go into my own world, <laughs> I paint. But I remember as a kid, you know, I, uh, in my coloring books, I always made certain that I stayed in the line. You know, like I see my other brothers and sisters coloring, arr, arr, you know, <laughs> wait, 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 stay in, the, stay in the line, stay in the line, and I kind of help try to teach them to stay within the line, the boundaries. You can see I try to make my line straight and I try not to go over the edge. And Sometimes uh, I, take, uh, I take a lot of uh, my early humblings from uh, Norval. Uh -huh. yeah. Norval was... Uh, in well, he was just down, his, down the road from you, was he not? Yeah, he was actually. He yeah. was a great friend of my mother and my family okay. back in the day. But uh, I attribute a lot of his, his artwork to some of my style, so. Well, that's great. So he was, uh, Norval Morriso was uh, sort of an influence on you. Sort of. Oh, that's great. Well, Francis, thank you very much for coming in and talking to us today. I know our uh, viewers are very interested in your artwork and want to learn so much more about yourself. Thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate it. All right.